The hydraulics lesson will be covered in four parts. Let's begin with general description. Hydraulic power is provided by three separate systems labeled System A, System B, and Standby. System A provides power for nose wheel steering, tail skid, ground spoilers, outboard spoilers, landing gear, trailing edge flaps, and the leading edge devices. System B provides power for the main brakes, aft air stairs, and inboard spoilers. The primary flight controls are powered by both hydraulic systems. The ailerons and left and right elevators use both systems through dual power units while the lower rudder is powered by system A and the upper rudder by system B. The hydraulic standby system provides an alternate power source for operating the lower rudder and or extending the leading edge devices or LEDs. Each system has its own supply reservoir. Although the systems operate independently, the reservoirs are interconnected. The System B reservoir is divided by a baffle at the 1.1 gallon level. The compartments are labeled System B and Baffle B. The fluid in the baffle B compartment is used for the alternate extension of the leading edge devices and the system B compartment supplies the system B components. System A operating pressure is supplied by engine driven pumps located on the number one and two engines. System B pressure is provided by two AC powered electrical pumps and standby system pressure is provided by an electrical pump and a hydraulic motor pump. The System A pumps provide pressure whenever the pumps are selected on and the respective engine is operating. With the electrical system powered, if an A pump is selected off, it continues to run in a depressurized condition which bypasses fluid to the reservoir without damage to the pump. If electrical power is not available, the system A pumps default to the pressurized condition. The system B pumps provide pressure whenever the pumps are selected on and the electrical system is powered. When selected off, the pump stops and fluid flow is blocked. A positive fluid supply to the pumps is assured by applying bleed air to the System A reservoir whenever the number one and or two engines are operating. Head pressure is then maintained in the System B and standby reservoirs through the connecting lines. Fluid from the System A reservoir to the engine driven pumps is controlled by the fluid shutoff valves. When the System A or B pumps are operating, pressurized fluid flows from the respective pump through its common hydraulic line and a common excess supply line. Heat exchangers located in the number one and three fuel tanks cool System B and System A excess supply fluid, which is combined with system component return fluid and redeposited into the respective reservoir. Fluid overheat sensors are located in the System A return and System B excess supply lines. The ground interconnect valve allows System B hydraulic pressure to power System A if an external source or the APU is supplying aircraft power. This permits maintenance and pre-flight checks of both systems without engine operation. A check valve on the System A side of the ground interconnect valve prevents System A from pressurizing System B if the ground interconnect is open with System A pressurized. When the standby rudder system is activated to power the lower rudder, 
System A pressure is blocked to the lower rudder System A power unit and an electric standby pump pressurizes the lower rudder standby power unit through a shuttle valve. When the standby hydraulic system is initiated for LED extension, System A pressure is blocked to the LEDs and trailing edge flaps and the electric standby pump is started. When alternate flap deployment is activated, the hydraulic motor shutoff valve opens and hydraulic pressure from the electric standby pump drives the hydraulic motor pump. The motor pump uses fluid from the Baffle B reservoir to extend the LEDs. Standby pressure is available to the lower rudder shuttle valve. However, the lower rudder is still powered by System A if available. A filter located in the left air stairs area removes foreign particles from System A return fluid before entering the reservoir. The filter is equipped with a differential pressure indicator, which provides a visual indication of a clogged filter element. Some aircraft have two indicators. Controls and indicators for the hydraulic system are located on the overhead panel and the center instrument panel. Controls and indicators are also located on the second officer's lower panel. 